I found a huckleberry bush. See the little berries? Several of them on this bush. Alright, then we're going to be good. And this here is a wild blueberry bush. See, it's got the blueberries right there. This one doesn't have very many ripe ones on it. Most of them are still green. But all of them can be eaten though. They don't have to be ripe. Alright, this is a great find right here. There's another bush. It's got some on it. One right there. Yeah, this is really going to help. Yeah, these are going to be extremely tasty. I'll have to look around. There was these plants here, so there may be more close by. I'll have to look around and see if I can find more. Yeah, this bush is loaded with them. All right. Maybe I will have a good meal tonight. All right, that's a good sized handful of berries right there. Let's see what else I can find. Thank you, berry bush. But this time, I made a teepee fire lay. I'm just gonna provide good light, good heat, and I'm gonna use the coals from it to cook my mushroom with. Just using the back of my knife. And there it is. I got my spark. See right there it is. See it smoking? Alright. My fire's lit. Then what I do is I make a fire bundle, gently wrap it up, and blow it into flame. There it is. All right. Feel these pine needles here.
Oh, that wasn't so hard. It's a piece of flint in the back of my knife. Here's a good Boletus mushroom. See, nice and yellow on the bottom. Blue staining when you touch it. It's kind of a cream colored filibrose stalk. Golden brown uh, cap. This mushroom I can eat. Cut that part off. Slice it down the middle and look at it. It does have some bugs in it. I think I'm going to eat it anyway. And slice it up. And I'm going to boil it really good in that pot of water right there. That's just a nice lemon yellow. Nice and brown right there. Nice brown. Brown or golden bleach. Some people call them a golden bleach because they have kind of a golden color to them. Golden yellow. Excellent food. Alright, so I got my mushroom in there. I'll find a place to put it on the fire where we're able to cook. Right there, be nice and hot, and we'll let that boil for about 10 minutes, and then then I'll be able to eat it. And this water I'm boiling right here, I'm boiling it to sterilize it so I can drink it. Oh, nothing to do but maintain the fire and let it cook. Alright, then we're bubbling nicely. I want to make sure they're completely, absolutely thoroughly cooked. Of course, maybe sauteing these in some oil would be a lot better. But I don't have any out here with me. That'll be good this way too. So you bring the water up to a nice hard boil and you let it boil for about 10 minutes. Boy, those look good. My bucket of lake water is steaming hot. It's almost ready to boil. So that'll be nicely sterilized. I'll be able to drink that later once it cools off. I might make a tea out of some pine needles. Alright, my mushrooms are cooked. My little water pot goes back in the pan because I'm going to make some tea. And to start that process, I'm going to use this handful of berries. Throw them in there. And now I'm going to go get some pine needles.